Hello friends, I'm George, the nice melic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. Now today I'm going to talk about one very impressive freshie from the house of Art Al Zafran. It's called Al Dirham Limited Edition and this thing really impressed me for a few reasons. It's very affordable, it has very good performance and has a very enjoyable scent profile. And I only have one problem with this fragrance, so watch the video today to see uh, why I like this one and what my problem with this fragrance is. The fragrance comes packaged in this uh, blue colored uh, box with some golden accents. Uh, on the top we got the uh, you know the logo of Artal Zafran, on the front we got the name of the fragrance, uh, the concentration, EDP, the bottle size 100 milliliters. on the back we got some additional information, sticker of authenticity, on the bottom there's a production date which in this case is June of 2023 and one interesting feature of uh, the whole packaging is uh, something as you can see you have this cut out here on the side uh, and this thing was actually in there and I didn't really notice this until uh, one of my uh, viewers, one of my subscribers actually pointed out that this is a 20 milliliter travel size bottle which is a really really nice touch in my opinion so you actually get uh, 120 milliliters of juice with this fragrance and once you take out the bottle it, it looks like this it has this uh, golden color to it a golden shade uh, again I have the name of the fragrance the company the the cap is plastic but it's a snug fit uh, and all in all you know the bottle has nice heft to it so the packaging is quite impressive considering the price point of this fragrance. If you enjoy my videos guys but you're not yet a subscriber to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button it really means a lot to me and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay now let's talk about the note breakdown of Al Dirham limited edition at least as per Fragrantica the notes are the following the top notes are tangerine geranium and lemongrass the middle notes are lily of the valley tuberose jasmine rose cloves and cinnamon and the base notes are tonka bean musk vanilla and floral notes i'll show you the spirit in action the spirit is actually very decent and now to the uh, actual scent of uh, aldirham limited edition the opening of this fragrance is very very fresh i get uh, a ton of uh, this uh, sort of an orange or uh, it's called a tangerine you know an orange note in the opening i also pick up uh, some lemon note in the opening it feels very very fresh uh, you also immediately get quite a lot of sweetness from the vanilla and uh, even you know from the get-go i also get quite a bit of uh, the musk so the opening is very bright very fresh and also quite sweet when this starts to go into the dry down, uh, you know, it becomes uh, sweeter. You lose some of the freshness from the opening, although the citruses are still there, but more on the background playing a support role. The vanilla note starts to pick up more strength. The, you know, the fragrance becomes quite a lot sweeter and the dry down is very, very musky. Uh, I get a strong uh, musk uh, note on the dry down of this fragrance. All in all, this is a very, very nicely done freshie that has a touch of greenness in the background uh, with a lot of sweetness and a lot of muskiness and it's quite enjoyable now i didn't mention this in the opening uh, but uh, this thing is not a direct clone in my opinion to anything but it's quite uh, close to chanel's allure home sport it's uh, especially on the dry down this thing will feel a uh, very close to that original scent but it has a few twists so that that's why in my opinion this is not a direct clone of allure home sport it's more like an alternative or a twist on that original dna the opening here for me is stronger compared to the Chanel uh, fragrance. Uh, it feels uh, sweeter in the opening, uh, a little bit sharper. And then on the dry down, this thing feels uh, quite a lot more musky and still a lot sweeter compared to Allure Home Sport. So not a direct clone, but a great alternative to Allure Home Sport. When it comes to the performance of Alderham Limited Edition, uh, this thing was really impressive, uh, you know, in my testing when it comes to the performance. Now, keeping in mind that this is a fresh type of scent, so you should not expect wonders, but still, I've been constantly getting over 7, even close to 8 hours of performance out of this fragrance, which for a freshie is very, very good. And also this thing is very loud. Uh, it projects really nicely for up to two, even maybe over two hours. So performance wise, this is a really, really nice fragrance, especially for a freshie. When it comes to the price tag, uh, it's a pretty affordable scent. Um, I paid about, uh, 
I think 18 euros uh, here in Europe in order to get uh, this fragrance, which I think is a fantastic deal, considering that this is a great clone of, of sort of, to be more exact, a great alternative to a very expensive designer scent and also has a great performance and very enjoyable scent. And you also get 20 milliliters uh, extra juice in the box uh, out of this fragrance. When it comes to the versatility, this is a very versatile scent like any other freshie. You can wear this all year round. You can wear this to the office, you can wear this to the gym. You can even wear it on a date night. Uh, of course, in winter time, uh, you'll have to probably overspray a little bit to get the needed performance. But uh, this is a super, super versatile uh, freshy and scent uh, and has no age factor to it. Pretty much uh, every guy out there can wear this fragrance. And so on to my final thoughts about Alderham Limited Edition from Art Alza Fran. As I said in the opening of this video, this thing uh, has been really impressive for me. For the fact that it comes uh, really nicely packaged, it's very affordable, has very good uh, performance, especially for a freshie, and also has a very enjoyable scent profile. And it's super versatile on top of that, and you even get 20 milliliters extra juice uh, in the box. So that's all. those are all pros for this fragrance. And as I said, I have only one problem with this, and that's the fact that I find the whole scent a little bit uh, synthetic. Now, let me explain uh, what I mean. Now, in the air around you, when you wear this fragrance, it actually smells very pleasant, very enjoyable, and it probably will get you compliments. Uh, but if you sniff the spot where you've uh, sprayed this fragrance up closer, uh, at least uh, my nose picks up quite a strong synthetic vibe out of this. Uh, and that's the only problem that I find with this fragrance. Other than that, it's fantastic performer, you know, uh, has, uh, again, a very enjoyable and very versatile scent profile and all oh, you know this is a real winner especially considering the price point so if you're looking for a very versatile freshie that you can wear pretty much all year round with very good performance to go with that as well and on top of that that it's very affordable definitely check out Alderham limited edition also if you're looking for a great alternative to Chanel's Allure Home Sport again definitely check out Alderham limited edition this fragrance gets a big like from me. So guys, in today's video I showed you a great little freshie from the house of Atal Zafran called Alderham Limited Edition. This thing is a great alternative to Chanel's Allure Home Sport. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.